in our own. You can hardly find that. Because even when they come home, they are either sleeping or on the walkie-talkie again, listening in case they are going to be called. So you never really get their attention. So the women felt, okay, mommy, please, can you beg daddy to loan us our husband's back just for about two, three hours? So I spoke to my husband that, please, we just need a night. Of course, as a man, he said no at first. He said no. They know we'll be here days. Who will be here? Who will be here? So I said, look, apart from the fact that my women are now ready to fast and pray, that there will be no crime during that period, we are ready to fast and pray. But apart from that, they always have deputies. Let them deputize for once and see. And then come, and then from there, they can even go back to work. And that was how we started. So he said, okay, in one of their meetings, he said I should talk to the men, which I did, and they were so happy about it. Because for one, most of our men are not with their wives. So when they come home, maybe for a day or two, there's a list of things the woman had written down that when it comes, the, shoe, the children's shoes are this, uh, I need to do this, we need to do this. So when they come home, it's, it's with this mentality that I know I'm going to receive, um, there's expectation of needs, and I don't even have it. So it's on the defensive too. And the wife is saying, hmm, if he comes today and say he does not have, he must have, a, you know, that kind of thing. So even when they come home, it's with this kind of attitude. So we say, okay, please come in for a few hours. Look at us all over again. Look at us, how beautiful we are when you got us. You hardly have time these days to look at your woman. Some, some of us, we do a particular hairstyle. Waiting for your husband to pass comments, you're just wasting time. You did not even see it. Because he's not even thinking in that direction. So we said, this night, we're going to dress up in evening gowns, not in our poor uniform in evening gowns and let them take a second look and they will want to come back home the more that is what we wanted to achieve wow and let them take a second look a second at look again now that brings me to this point as the as the wives of a security personnel police officer in that matter how do you feel when you have to be with your husband and he's be busy with the walking, talking, or he's busy chasing uh, robbers around, or saying you must get those robbers, you must do this, or he said, ah, I'm leaving the place, I'm leaving mid in the night, 1 a.m. Believe me, as soon as you marry a police officer, within the next three years, you have become a police officer. Do you know that? In the police, as my wife is a CP, they call me the AIG. That is a career higher rank than me. Why? Because you do the work together. After some time, before they, in fact, when my husband was in Lagos, when our children were still very small, if they call my husband by his, you know, they don't use their names, my daughter would pick up, as young as he was, around three, three o'clock, I mean three years old, and we're charging the walkie-talkie somewhere. And she hears the same name, they call him on the hair. It will bring it, daddy, daddy, they're calling you. The whole family does the work. So we already know. So if your husband say, I have to go, something, something is happening here, you go to one corner and pray. That's all. But that's uh, ah, you can't leave me now, forget. Is he, is he even taking your permission? He's gone. So the least you can do for him is to pray along with him. And then later call, honey, how did he go? That's all. But we all do the work. From ASP now to CP, I've been doing the work. So it's, it's not strange anymore. 